now dear student chapter number 11 thermal properties of matter and we have the topic uh, that is the relation between the linear expansion coefficient area expansion coefficient and the volume expansion coefficient so one by one we are just making the relation uh, of the alpha v with the alpha l and then alpha a with the alpha l so we are just getting the inter mutual relation between them so here we are just making the first relation between the alpha v and the alpha l and for the sake of the convenient we are just assuming a cube which having each side of the length l is there okay so here i am just starting consider a cube of side l having initial volume v at room temperature so this is the consideration we have done regarding to the uh, cube we have okay now delta q amount of heat given to it to it so due to rise in temperature the sides of cube increases so new volume is v dash okay so uh, here we are just getting the uh, change in the length of the that means sides of a cube so here we are just starting original volume v is equal to l cube we have this is the first equation we have now increase in the length of sides we have that is called the l dash is equal to l plus of delta l we have okay so here we are just making the little bit changing that what change we have so delta well as at place of because we have the alpha l is equal to delta l upon l delta t we have so at the place of the delta l we can substitute that l plus of that mean l alpha l delta t we have so i am just making the little bit changes that mean l dash is equal to l1 plus alpha l delta t we have okay so this is the one of the general equation i have mentioned that is equation number 2 we have now <coughs> new volume of q new volume of q we have suppose that is called the v dash and v dash can be stated as v dash is equal to l dash cube we have and l dash is nothing but it is simply the l 1 plus alpha l delta t raised to q v v q v have okay so here we are just using the general mathematics that v dash is equal to l raised to cube and here we have the 1 plus alpha l and delta t raised to cube we have so here we, we we wish to open this one cube of this bracket we have so what actually we are just getting this l cube we can write as per the equation number one that is called the v is there so here i am just writing the meaning of the v is there and making the whole square uh, that cube of this bracket that one plus as i can write that uh, alpha l raised to cube delta t raised to cube plus <coughs> 3 alpha l square and delta t square plus 
थ्री एल्फा एल डेल्टा टी वी है सो दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट वर्जन वी हैव ऑफ दिस क्यूब क्यूब ऑफ दिस ब्रैकेट वी हैव नाउ वॉट काइंड ऑफ द दैट नेग्लेक्टिंग टर्म्स आर हेयर सो वी विल डिस्कस इट सो हेयर हेयर वी हैव वन थिंग कीप इन अवर माइंड द एल्फा एल हैविंग द पावर ऑफ दैट इज टेन टू पावर माइनस फाइव ऑफ ऑर्डर इज देयर ओके एंड दैट मीन कैलविन इनवर्स ओके सो हेयर वी आर जस्ट यूजिंग दिस वन कंसेप्ट दैट बिकॉज ऑलरेडी द वैल्यू ऑफ द स्मॉल एल्फा एल इज द वेरी स्मॉल सो इफ यू आर जस्ट मेकिंग द क्यूब और द स्क्वायर पार्ट इज देयर सो दिस पोर्शन कैन बी नेग्लेक्ट इन दिस इक्वेशन so how can we remove it okay so we are not writing these terms and these uh, terms i can make the cancellation here okay so here i can make the modification of that part that v dash is equal to v and 1 plus 3 alpha l delta t v have okay so v dash is equal to v plus 3 v alpha l delta t v have ओके नाउ हेयर वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग द सिंपलेस्ट चेंज वी डैश माइनस का वी इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी एल्फा एल डेल्टा टी वी है एंड हेयर वी कैन मेक द सिंपलेस्ट चेंज दैट इज चेंज इन वॉल्यूम दैट इज कॉल्ड द डेल्टा वी इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी एल्फा एल डेल्टा टी वी हैव ओके सो द रिलेवेंट एस्पेक्ट चेंज वी हैव दैट इज डेल्टा वी इज टू बी डिवाइडेड बाय वी एंड द डेल्टा टी वी हैव थ्री alpha l we have okay and this one whole group can be considered as a volume expansion coefficient so i can write that alpha v is equal to 3 times of the alpha l this implies that alpha l can be state as alpha v is to be divided by 3 we have okay simplest relation we have which we have got between the alpha l the alpha v we have so this is the first relation now the second relation which we want to make here that is relation between between alpha a and alpha l we have so here we are just making the assumption of a rectangle uh, uh, that mean sheet is there okay now This is the initial area. This is the final area we have. This is the change in the area we have. That is called the delta A is there. So as we know the simplest concept. So here we are just making the change in the length. That is called the. Um, I am just writing the some words here. That initial area. That is called the A is there. final area of sheet is there that is called the a dash is there okay now change in the length of sheet is there of side we have l dash is equal to <coughs> L plus delta L we have and already we have mentioned the concept of the delta L that is called the L alpha L delta T we have so we can make the little bit uh, that uh, meaning of the delta L in the portion that is L L plus of L alpha L delta T we have so we can make the common of the L one plus alpha L delta T we have okay this is the simplest version we have. okay now <clears throat> this is the equation uh, that mean one uh, this is the another equation we have here we can make the concern of that the area that is called the a l square and we have the a dash is equal to l dash square we have okay so here we are just keeping these changes in our mind okay so this is the equation number 1 we have This is the equation number two we have. This is the equation number three we have. And already I am just doing the same part which I have done in the uh, volume part. Okay, now <coughs> use equation three in equation number two we have. Okay, so 
a dash is equal to l dash square so l dash is nothing but it's simply the in the square part 1 plus alpha l delta t whole square is there okay so as uh, we are just making the consideration of the l square 1 plus alpha l square delta t square plus 2 alpha l delta t so this is the simplest representation we have and we can neglect this one term because already the meaning of the alpha l is very much too much uh, very much small so as we are just making the square of the term so it comes in the very less part so we can neglect it so the a dash can be as a 1 plus 2 alpha l delta t and we can make that a dash is equal to a plus 2 a alpha l delta t so we are just making the relevant changes here okay so i can write that a dash minus a is to be divided by that is a delta t that is two times of the alpha l we have so here we can make that that alpha a is equal to two times of the alpha l so it comes in the part we have that is alpha l is equal to alpha a by two we have so this is the simplest representation uh, on behalf of the relation between the alpha l and the alpha a is there so as we are just uh, uh, getting the terms all are equal to each other because we have got the relation that alpha l is equal to alpha v by 3 this is the one of the relation we have okay and we have also the alpha l is equal to alpha a by 2 we have okay so we can write that alpha l is equal to alpha v by 3 that is equal to the alpha a by 2 so this is the simplest relation between uh, all the coefficient of expansion okay this equation represent relation between alpha l alpha v and alpha e is there okay so this is the mathematical portion we have now uh, by the numerical in the ncrt that is 11.1 .1 example is there on the page number we have 279 so one of the numerical is given which also state the relation between the area expansion of the rectangular sheet uh, area expansion coefficient coefficient of the area expansion of the rectangular sheet is twice its linear expansivity so here we have to be discuss the relation by this rectangular sheet is there so here we have to be proof that uh, uh, the alpha a is equal to two times of the alpha l is there so here the uh, nominations are given the one of the rectangular sheet at the room temperature it's having the sides a and the b are there so as we are just giving the delta q amount of the heat Mm, so it's a temperature rises that is called the delta t rises up so due to the delta t rises there is a increase in the side of the delta a which is shown in the figure and here it is the expansion in the length b that is called the delta b we have so what are the types of the areas where we can uh, make the discussion here okay now this is the portion or the shaded portion we have this one is the shaded portion we have that uh, having the, the length that is called the del a is there and the, it's having the breadth that is called the delta b is there so it is the occupy it is been nominate as a a1 is there delta a1 is there delta a1 can be concerned as delta a1 is equal to uh, that is called the <coughs> we have in the portion of the length we have that is called the uh, a a is the section of that part and the delta b this is the meaning of the uh, a1 we have now we are just talking about the concern of the part that is called the um, a2 a2 this is the portion of the a2 we have so what is the meaning of the a2 uh, this is the simplest meaning of the a2 we have that's uh, <clears throat> uh, 
द ओरिजिनल दैट मीन ब्रेथ ऑफ द पार्ट द द बी इज देयर एन द डल सेक्शन दैट द इंक्रीज इन दैट मीन लेंथ इज देयर दैट इज डेल्टा ए सो द ए टू कैन बी स्टेट दैट बी डेल्टा ए इज देयर दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेक्शन ए टू वी हैव दिस इज द न्यू सेक्शन वी हैव नाउ दिस इज द अनादर सेक्शन वी हैव द शेडेड रीजन वेर आई एम जस्ट शोइंग इट बाय द अनादर टाइप ऑफ द स्केच कलर the delta a3 can be stated in the part of that is delta a and the delta b are there so uh, what is the possible uh, that mean uh, <coughs> increase in the area we have increase in the area of rectangular block rectangular block we have so how can we discuss it that is called the delta a is equal to delta a1 plus delta a2 plus delta a3 we have so delta a can we state that the portion of the delta a1 that is called the a delta b plus <coughs> b delta a plus delta a and delta b we have so this is the first equation we have and we have the individual versions of the delta b delta a and uh, in the, in in the part of the linear expansion coefficient okay so uh, here we can write at the place of the delta b is there so uh, now i am making the change that is delta b can be stated that alpha l b delta t is there this is the possible representation of the delta b now uh, here we can state that delta a is equal to alpha l because uh, this is the portion of the length we have that the change in the uh, delta a that is alpha l is equal to a delta t we have so this is the equation number 2 we have now we are using the equation number 2 in the equation number 1 so what we are getting delta a that is change in area that is called the a delta b is there as i am just making the sequence of the all the term a b alpha l delta t we can write okay so plus b at the place of the delta a we are just writing a uh, alpha l delta t so i am just writing in the sequent manner that a b alpha l delta t we have okay here i am just writing this term in the two uh, square of that part alpha l square that is a b is there okay and delta t square is there okay so this is the simplest representation we have now here we can uh, neglect uh, the term and here we can make the adding of that portions so delta a is equal to 2 times of ab alpha l delta t we have and plus this term can be neglected because delta t is very small we have and square in the part and alpha l is also uh, in the part of uh, that mean small value so we can neglect it now this one ab can be termed as a initial area so we can write delta a is equal to 2a alpha l delta t we have and uh, we can make the change that is delta a upon uh, <coughs> a delta t can be write as two times of the alpha l we have and already we know that this the uh area expansion coefficient so we can write alpha a is equal to 2 times of the alpha l this implies that alpha l can be stated as alpha a by 2 so this is the simplest uh, that mean representation of that numerical which also makes the same relation which we already we have discussed so this is the all about uh the relation between the alpha alpha a and the alpha l